Hey everyone, so we're waiting for the summon event that's coming later today. Uh, after this banner ends up, it's going to be uh, one of those special summon events where we have actually a double uh, chance, I guess our uh, percentages of pulling a legendary go up. So legendary heroes right now you have a 1% chance to pull them, but uh, the banner that's coming later Today is going to increase this chance to 2%, and you have the ability to do that, you know, up to uh, three times. So it's actually a pretty viable way to pull three legendaries without uh, using, I guess, in theory, up to 300 stones, you know, hitting your pity on all three. Uh, but in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, uh, I do want to talk about an epic character today. That doesn't need books, and I think he's he's been lost, uh, you know, in the background because uh, people just have a very vast roster like myself, so he kind of gets put on the wayside. But that hero, I think, is really viable for early to mid-game players, and that is William. So William used to be, you know, uh, the top of all of these kind of dungeon speedruns. Uh, before books were really introduced, <laughs> but he is still very viable. And uh, if you don't have, you know, a specific set of heroes that most people have nowadays, uh, if you're just starting, uh, William is still a really viable character in endgame dungeon runs. And I'm hoping to show you uh, one here today. So let's just talk about him because he does have a lot of unique things about his kit. So he has a trait which is unique to him and him alone. Uh, and there's no one that has a similar trait to this, where uh, he has this aura, and all of your team members' basic abilities damage is just flat increased by 40%, which is awesome. And when he's ascended, it actually goes up to 60%. So he pairs really nicely with a couple people, and we'll talk about that in a second here. But an awesome, awesome aura, just increasing the damage of your hero's uh, basic abilities for, for nothing for free is great. And William is actually one of those OG characters, so that means that his aura is on his Ascension 2 instead of the Ascension 5. So even additional value there. So on his basic, he deals 50% damage to an enemy and then summons in an ally to launch a joint attack, and that's going to be their basic ability. So it kind of combos with his trait. He'll use this ability... Uh, one of your allies comes in, does damage with their basic ability, and if he's ascended, it's doing 60% more damage. Really cool stuff. Uh, so he has a special ability that applies counterattack to every team member and then defense up two to the primary target for three turns. Really cool special ability. I think it's one of the only... I think it's the only team-wide counterattack buff in the entire game, and it's on an epic. And then on top of that, it gives uh, your primary target defense up too, which is really cool. And then if you actually have him booked out, he gives a bonus stack of counterattack to the main target along with that defense up too. So they'll get two stacks of that. Pretty pretty cool stuff. Um, and then his ultimate. So he has 100% chance, uh, sorry, deals 100% damage to an enemy with an 80% chance to apply defense down to everybody. So an AoE defense down, which uh, there are a couple heroes in the game that do this, but not many. So William's another one. And it is 80% chance, but he does have 100% chance to do this instead of 80 to the main target uh, if he's booked. Now, I don't think he needs books, uh, but I, I will mention that he, he does get some benefit from them, right? So my William, I did put one book in. Uh, when I thought I was going to need to book him, and then I decided not to. Uh, he is fully ascended. Uh, his glyphs, I am missing a couple of these just because I don't I don't need to waste the glyphs on William. He works as is. Uh, but he gets, you know, uh, okay, uh, not very good speed. Uh, he does get some resistance. None of this, in my opinion, uh, truly matters. I mean, the glyphs are okay just to give him additional HP so he doesn't die or anything in dungeons. But, uh, 
yeah, I have him just in regular gear. I'm trying to make him fast so he goes uh, at the top of the turn order. This is a pretty nice helmet, actually, that I have left over. Focus health defense, some speed with defense. Uh, this attack percentage ring is just there for the speed. And then uh, focus to make sure that he lands his debuffs. So let's talk about a couple characters that he pairs well with, right? The first one is Nero. Because uh, not only does he give him counterattack, but he also gives him that big defense up boost. And Nero scales from his defense, right? So that's definitely one of the, uh, I guess, obvious choices for pairing against, uh, pairing with William. Uh, the other one, and we're going to show a couple of these today, is uh, Opal. So Opal does a lot of damage on her basic ability, right? which scales with her rage. She does these joint attacks with her basic ability, so they're going to be doing even additional more damage. Uh, so she she pairs really well with William as well. Uh, and then on top of that, just, just any of these uh, water heroes, to be honest, pair pretty well with him. Uh, Nathalia, who we're going to showcase today, whenever she uses her basic, she gives herself additional random stats up which then help uh, increase her damage on her trait and then uh, also allows her ultimate to really hit hard and allow her to hit all of the fire amps because we're going to showcase uh, a team in uh, Ash Magisteria today. So you have that. And then on top of that, uh, you also have Ciara, which I think is a pretty pretty nice option as well because Ciara has a increased damage taken on her basic ability. So bringing her into the joint attacks with uh, William to land that additional debuff is always nice. He, he pairs with <laughs> just so many different people. Uh, but definitely a, a epic that has been lost due to all of the power creep with the rest of the uh, strong heroes in the game. So here we're going to bring in, I wouldn't say it's like super free to play friendly uh, because these heroes are booked and whatnot, but it is limited on uh, legendaries. And then one of the legendaries is a synthesis hero. So pretty easy to get. And then you have William. So let's just showcase this team and uh, show how the run goes. The Nero spot is actually uh, pretty flexible. You can bring in other heroes like Pluto, who I'm going to be doing a hero spotlight on here in the next day or two because he's the new uh, Magic Pass hero. Uh, you also have you know heroes like Opal that can replace Nero. Um, Opal can also replace Ciara. But this is a more free-to-play friendly team because you do have two epics and a free uh, legendary. And then on top of that, quote-unquote free legendary. And then on top of that, you had a seasonal hero, uh, which was pretty easy to get legendary. So anyway, you put this on auto, and you'll see here uh, he does his AoE. He always prioritizes this. And uh, the team is just going through here. Uh, going through the waves. Ciara and Nero are in there to help clear the waves as well as helping clear the imps. On the second wave, this is where he puts up his uh, counterattack on everybody. And this does count as a buff for Nathalia. So she gets additional benefit here to now be able to do an AoE on all enemies as well as increasing her damage based on the amount of buffs that she has on herself. Um, he did end up giving the defense up uh, buff to Ciara. Uh, I don't know if this is random or not. I've never seen a, uh, a consistency with it, but it would have been nice <laughs> if he put it up on Nero. Uh, but anyway, so we're just going through the wave here. Ciara gets down this big imp, and then we get to the boss. So when we get to the boss, we need enough AoE damage dealers to clear these fire imps. Uh, William is there to give the defense down to everybody, including the boss. Nathalia is there to help uh, clear the imps. And because she has four buffs from that counterattack from William, uh, she was able uh, to do an AoE to everybody. Uh, without that fourth buff 
from William, that counterattack, she wouldn't have been able to do that. So here you just have all these big counterattacks to deal additional damage to the boss, which is really nice. And then you just slowly chip down on the boss. Uh, William's counterattack was back up. We're getting the nice increased damage taken from Ciara, um, as well as uh, you know some nice damage from Nero. So here William's going to uh, bring someone in to attack with him. See, there's the joint attack, and he chose Ciara and put that increased damage taken up. So that really let uh, really let Nero hit hard. Pretty cool stuff. And then another joint attack, another increased damage taken. So now uh, our Nathalia is doing additional damage. And then Nero comes in, and uh, oh, man. <laughs> we... We fail right. I think we're still going to get it done because Nero is tanky. But uh, <laughs> if we had a little bit more damage out of that team, that would have been consistent. But I, I didn't look at it. Thankfully, it wasn't a fail. <laughs> but yeah, that's how that team works, right? Obviously, a, a book Ciara makes things a whole lot easier. If you have more uh, ideal heroes to throw in with your William, uh, it also makes this run you know, more consistent as well. If William's booked to make sure that he's putting up the uh, defense down, it's also a viable strategy. But yeah, he, just, he has a lot of synergies with a lot of different heroes in the game. It's just a shame that there's been so many OP heroes that have come out that's kind of make him kind of made him uh, relevant in a sense. But if you don't have, you know, the OP heroes, you know, people like, um, you know, people like Zitlin, people like Flarence, people like Shane, you can still do pretty decent speed runs here where, you know, you're in the minute and a half, two minute range, which isn't that bad. Um, he also has other viability in... Uh, in faction challenges, I use him all the time uh, in my Holy Light Empire team. Uh, and I'm only, so I can consistently farm stage 18 and 19 with William, which is pretty nice. Uh, he's also really good for Batwolf. Uh, he's, I guess, somewhat viable in uh, Guild versus Environment as well. And I think he still has some viability in uh, Void Tower Hard. So uh, he's just. Like I said, a, a pretty underrated epic that has just lost traction because of all of the, you know, crazy heroes out there uh, that make speedruns, you know, trivial. But if you don't have them, he's still a really viable option. And if you're just starting the game out, he is a great addition to your team. The AOA defense down, the counterattacks, and then just the joint attacks to increase some damage. I think he can help you get through some content that you wouldn't otherwise think was possible. So just a quick one today, guys, uh, under 15 minutes, which is a miracle for me. <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.